If there is one thing I've learnt through all my mistakes, it is this. A story is like a flame. And the best of stories burn brighter than any other star in the sky. Now, don't say it doesn't make any sense, because I know it doesn't. Not yet. But when you've been through what I have, when you've lived my story, you'll understand. Some flames flicker dimly with only the hope of surviving the depths of the dark. Others pulse with light, boldly progressing through the darkness, encouraged by the pooling memories at their feet. And still others are a beacon, claiming the darkness around them as the light shines through. That is the story I wish I had, but mine is far different. Their story starts with what seems to be the perfect family. Father, mother, daughter, Charles, Maria, Rosie, King, Queen, Princess. And as the royal princess, I command that... Oh. Duty calls. Sorry, Maria, I have to take this. Rosie, we'll play dress up another time, okay? Hello, King Charles. What, did you think this was the Stone Age or something? Rosie, don't look so upset. You know your father's very busy. Yeah, I know, you both are. Why don't you go and play with some of your other friends? What other friends? Only people in the castle, apart from you and Dad, are servants. Rosalind? What? They are. You and Dad pay them to work. Besides, I can't play with them. They're below me. My darling girl, just because you're a princess, that doesn't mean that you're better than everybody else. Well, I am. Come here. What makes a princess better than a little orphan girl? Who decides who is important and who isn't in this world? Is it fair that you need riches to be someone who has worth? We're all the same inside. You don't have to be a princess. You don't have to be a queen. You don't have to own a mansion. Darling girl, look out the window and tell me what you see. I see children playing handball. Yes, but there's so much more to be looking for. Look again, but careful. Don't let your eyes be deceived. There's so much more. to be
If Queen Maria were a flame, she'd be less like a candle and more like a shooting star, bright and beautiful in its short-lived glory across the heavens. When the royal car lost control in the streets, Queen Maria went with it. The crash proved fatal. In the year that passed, less and less was heard from the royal family. With the king so focused on his grief, he pushed aside all matters of state. The unrest in the streets grew. Gangs started appearing, each toting their own motto and standard, all united under one goal. But many had forgotten the king was not weak. And when the gang struck, he destroyed every one of them. Some would say he destroyed more than that. In the time that had passed, he had barely acknowledged his daughter. Barely acknowledged she was there until one day she wasn't. Oh, where have you been? The servants told me they couldn't find you. What are you doing with that? Mummy said I could play with it. That is not a toy. But I'm being very careful. Rosie? Mummy said... That... Uh, Mummy is dead, okay? Now, she's not coming back. But that box was hers. She's in there. Don't be stupid. I'm not being stupid. Yes, you are. People die and boxes don't help with the pain. You are ten years old, Rosalind. Eleven. Regardless, your mother is dead, and I'm only trying to protect you. You're my daughter and my responsibility. Responsibility? Dad, we're family, and family is there for each other no matter what. We have lost part of our family. No matter what. Okay. Clearly you're tired. Now I'm going to take the box, and you're not going to play with it anymore, understand? Now go. To bed. Now! <sighs> Children. When a bushfire burns down a forest, the land and trees gradually heal. When a bushfire burns down a house, the owners must move on. You don't have to be a princess. You don't have to be a queen. The flame left the fire, and the star left the sky, and our story begins.